Hi, Jamie with UK Extension, and today we're out in the perennials again, and today we're talking about flocks, specifically tall garden flocks. As many of you are aware, there are several different types of flocks. We have a woodland flocks, we have a couple species of native flocks, and we have the creeping flocks that's common on banks and hillsides in the spring. This is the summer flowering version, and this is an earlier variety. A lot of them are more in the August window. This is tall garden phlox. This is a particular variety that's very, very bright and very, very mildew resistant. Phlox are prone to powdery mildew. Fortunately, there's lots of newer breeding in the marketplace that has great mildew resistance, but you should seek them out for that trait alone. This particular one is called Glamour Girl. It is very, very hot coral pink. Um, you can see it a mile away. It's also shorter than most flocks. Many of these will get four and five feet tall. And you'll probably, you probably already have noticed that the back half of our clump is blooming, is full bloom, and the front half is just getting started. That's because we pruned the front half about a month ago when we did our pruning perennials video. By shortening plants a little bit before they bloom, you can delay flowering. So when this part is fading, and this particular cultivar blooms for a very, very long time, most garden flocks do, at least six weeks. This one will go for a couple of months, but we've staggered the bloom time, and that's why this one's been blooming for about 10 days. This front half is just getting started. They're wonderful for bees, butterflies, all the pollinators. Most of them are fragrant, particularly in the evening. And the standard species of Phlox paniculata would be a tall lavender pink thing, um, usually prone to mildew. You can find them in whites. In fact, one of the perennial plants of the year um, many years ago was Phlox David, which is a pure white, a much taller Phlox that has excellent mildew resistance as well. There are purples, there are pinks, there are whites with little eyes, there's a lot of them. But when you seek Phlox out, make sure you seek out a mildew resistant variety and also be aware that part of the reason phlox mildews is the lack of air and light penetration into the canopy. You can see this gets to be a very very dense plant and if you look down in here you can see we're starting to have some maybe disease problems and other stuff. Anytime parts of the plant are shaded or don't dry out as quickly and don't get sunlight we create hospitable conditions for disease growth. So just thinning them out, dividing them occasionally, maybe removing half of these stems in the spring, that'll all help you have healthier flocks. But the primary way to avoid the disease is to just select varieties that have an inherent bred in resistance. Tall garden flocks, it gets a lot taller than this, but this is Glamour Girl you can find in the market. There's lots of others, you can order them online. Tall garden flocks certainly deserves a place in the perennial garden because after the spring flush of so many perennials, this summer, dog days of summer slump, can really cause your garden to not have a lot of color and flocks will help bridge that gap. 